So today I am going to be showing you how to make a diaper boat for a baby shower gift. The reason why I'm doing this is because her theme for her baby shower is nautical and I just thought a boat would be really cool. I'm an artist so I'm doing this on the fly and we'll see how it comes out. So hopefully this will inspire you to step out of the box and try something new. So the supplies I'm using are this shoe box that held my husband's dress shoes and I'm just assuming he's not going to need them because I want to use it for this project since then I don't have to paint the box or do anything since it's already blue and nautical. And then these are diapers that the boys weren't able to get into because they grew really fast and when I tried returning them at Target, they um, were discontinued or something and this size quantity they would not uh, give me the amount that I spent on them and I just figured I would give them as a gift for someone else and I just thought it might be fun to do this DIY together. You will first want to cut open your box of diapers or use the ones you have on hand. Next you will see me cutting down the middle to create the point of the boat and I made a couple unnecessary cuts on the shoe box of the base but you can see right here the middle of the box and I open the flap. I will be needing to bind the center piece together to create that point of the boat. Here you can see me making sure that it is going to work. I use duct tape as well as clear heavy duty shipping tape. It will create a clean look on the outside and the duct tape I'm just using on the inside because the only person that's going to see the inside of the box are the parents. So I am securing the inside with duct tape and just making sure that it is creating the form of the point of the boat that I want. My son said hi and wanted to be carried. Next, I used a pencil to outline the tip so I could cut off the excess cardboard. It's not a paper roll, but you can definitely use a paper roll. Just wrapped some letter paper that I had. Next, I found rubber bands and the larger the better. Also, my diapers, I had them facing inward. The logo was not visible and as you can see, this method that I started off with did not work. So my rubber band actually busted and fortunately I had another rubber band so I just tied the two together and started doing the diapers in front of each other. And the reason why I didn't roll the diapers is when you are changing diapers, whether you're mommy or daddy, they are so much easier just to grab when they are flat and not rolling up on you while you're trying to change the baby's diaper. This is just from my perspective, from receiving diaper cakes, the flat method is a lot better than the rolled method. I was just placing this to see how the sale would be. And then I just started doing the same method that I did on the outside and the inside. And you want to get as many diapers as possible inside the shoe box. I was just squeezing as much as I could using the same folding method. And I think this turned out really good. You can see my rubber bands that were damaged. Next, I was wanting to create the sale. This is the onesie that I got from the welcome box and I am just folding it to show you how to make a sale from it. You will want to use some clear tape on this as well. I used a thicker ribbon to cover the majority of the front, however it wasn't long enough and I was able to use this baby blue to decorate the back. So I found this image on 
a wallpaper and I thought it was really cute. So I'm gonna use this to decorate the diaper boat. This is the finished look. I added that decoration all around. The little sail, I used a Q-tip and just taped inside of it. And I just think it's super cute. I taped the inside right there and then glued the tip. Um, and I hope she likes it. <laughs> 